just a day old with a lifetime of opportunity ahead. Mm -hmm. This baby has been born into a world set to be transformed by a stunning advance in genetics, the ability to precisely manipulate our DNA. How we grow and develop is shaped by DNA, which sits in the nucleus of our cells. It's an instruction manual for how our bodies work, written in a chemical code of just four letters. Key sections are called genes, a spelling mistake can trigger disease. But now scientists have discovered a cheap and easy way to correct such errors by editing the code. Think of gene editing as a molecular sat-nav. It scans the DNA, searching for the error. Then it uses molecular scissors to snip through both strands, which switches off the faulty gene. Or it can repair the code by inserting a healthy copy of the gene. These techniques raise the prospect of treating, even curing, some genetic diseases. And it's not science fiction. Last month, we heard about one-year-old Layla, whose leukaemia was fixed by doctors in London who gave her gene-edited immune cells. The technology could eventually be used to treat scores of genetic conditions, like Sahana's. A faulty gene means her skin constantly blisters. It is incredibly painful and can prove fatal. This technology holds the unimaginable dream of a cure. We really do have a hope that we can specifically correct Sahana's cells and um, give her a chance at a life. The Breakthrough Prize is awarded to Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna. The scientists who invented a cheap and rapid new gene editing system just three years ago have already been showered with awards and labs across the world are using their technology. So what is the potential of gene editing? And in the future, we hope that this will be a technology that can actually be used not only to understand disease, but also to cure it. We can actually change the DNA. So not only understand the information in the cell, but actually do something about it. If we see a mutation that causes disease, we have now the potential uh, technology to, uh, to fix it. That could help patients with a whole range of genetic conditions. Their faulty cells could be removed, treated in the lab, and then healthy versions reinfused in the body. But could this science go too far? If gene editing was done in embryos, then any DNA changes would pass down the generations. The hot issue at this meeting is whether scientists should even be allowed to do research to modify the genes of embryos. Or is it a step too far that might lead to designer humans? Fergus Walsh, BBC News, Washington.